Hi there, I'm Jamie Keat and welcome to my series on Google Drive. Today we're going to take a look at how to share folders and files inside Google Drive. And remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and for weekly tech tips. So I have two different folders, or sorry, tabs at the top of my screen open in my Google Chrome. I'm going to be jumping back and forth between them because I have two different accounts open to see, uh, to show you how things are working. So I'm going to start with just sharing this folder, or sorry, this file right here. Now I could share anything from an image to a PDF or a folder. Uh, I'm just going to show you an example with a Google Doc here. So to share, all I have to do is I can right click on it and go find the share icon here where it says share, or I could go up top here and hit share. I could also also open up the document and share within inside the document too. But for this purposes, I'm just going to stay uh, with inside Google Drive to share. So I'm just going to hit drive, uh, the share here and I'm going to type the name or the address of the person I want to share it with here. And I have my edit permission set to can edit. You could also add a group. Uh, if you had a group set up inside your Gmail, um, it's a really easy way to uh, add everybody at once. I have a video on it inside uh, how to create a group uh, with Gmail. I'll put the link in here because if you are using that, it will save you, um, as I said, save you the time and hassle of entering everybody's names in. So for this purpose, I'm just going to share it with my other account. I'll hit send. And then if I go over to my other account here, what you can see, if I click on, oh, don't even have to click on it, it is here in my shared with me. Now at this point, um, what I can do with this is if I click on it, I can right click on it and add to my drive here. Or I, you notice up here, there's the add to drive symbol here. So if I click on add to drive, I'm just going to put it in my main drive section so you can see it. I'm just going to hit move. And if I go over to my drive, uh, sometimes I have to refresh it to uh, get it here. And you can see there it is right here. So I've added it to my drive. So I could go back to the shared with me. And this is what I like to do. I like to keep it uh, clean uh, just so I, if a lot of things are coming in day by day shared, I don't see everything at once. So I can delete it from here. And if I go back to my drive, you can still see it down there and work on it. And this is always going to be collaborating with the other person that uh, that created. If I delete it from here, I'm not going to delete the copy from the other person's because that person has owner privileges on it. So I can also do the same thing with a folder. So if I just go to uh, create a new folder and I'm just going to call this example, um, example sharing and I'm going to hit create and there it is right there. Um, I could change the color and everything on this folder. I'll just leave it as this um, for this demonstration. So I'm just going to right click on this. I'm going to share with uh, the same account again. If I find it, there it is. And then I'm going to leave it at can edit. And uh, so I'm going to jump back over here or to my other account here and go to share it with me. And you can see the example sharing folder here. If I open it, there's nothing inside of it there. I could add this uh, to my uh, drive just like I did before. I'll just add it here, example. And I'm just going to keep it to um, the main part of my drive here. And I'm just going to um, actually, I'm going to delete it from here also. So I'm going to go back to uh, my drive here. You can see there's the example folder and it's empty there. So if I go back to my other account now and I open this up and if I add something to this, so I'm just going to add a, um, I'll add a Google slides here. What is, what it's warning me and saying anything I put inside this folder will inherit the permissions of that folder. Uh, and that's kind of what I kind of like about doing it this way. So if I had a, a class and I had a bunch of images or files I wanted to share with um, with the class, um, what I do is um, I create the folder and then just drop uh, drop the file or file or information that I need in that folder and everybody who has access to that folder can go and grab it. So it's a, uh, it's a way I use to kind of speed things up. I don't use it quite as much as I used to because of um, Google Classroom now, but if I create a, I'm just going to call this test. I'll let it save up um, real quickly here. And uh, I'm going to just close out and you can see it's created over here. But if now, if I go back over to my example sharing folder over here, it's also in there. So if I uh, open this up and check out the permissions here, you can see, um, you'll be able to see 
uh, that it's actually, if I go to the advanced, you can see that it inherited the can edit from the folder. So anything you, so be careful with that at the same time, make sure it, you understand your folder permissions before you put something in it that you don't want um, to have edit. So you might want to put copy and make students uh, make a copy for their own. So um, those are two things that I do inside uh, my uh, folders and files when I share them. The other thing is that I like to do um, is uh, create and share as a link. So if I go back to this, um, this one right here, uh, what I can do is actually share that whole file on the web. So if I right click on this, I'm just going to go back to my sharing. Uh, I'm going to go to advanced this time and I'm going to change this one where it says specific people can access. I'm just going to change and I'm going to make this one public on the web. So um, hit save and then hit done here. So now what I can do is I can share that entire folder with a link to somebody else. So anything I put in that folder, if I give that link, to anybody uh, or they have access to it they'll be uh, they'll be able to get whatever out of that uh, file so for example if I right click you can see there is the get link there or the get link up here also so I'm just going to go to the share settings uh, if I take like you notice I have the copy link here if I go to a, a new tab and just paste this in here and uh, go to it, you'll see that the uh, presentation, the Google Slides, sorry, that uh, I made is inside that. So anybody with that uh, with that link, I'll just I closed it down. I'm just going to open up here again here. So anybody with that link. Um, will um, be able to access it. So what I can, what I do a lot of times, even with embedding in other websites, you can uh, use iframes to insert um, Google uh, Google folders inside that, uh, so, or else you can share a link with parents, or and then you just anything you put inside that folder, um, they'll have access it access to. So just remember though the permissions that you have at the highest level because it's going to be inherited down uh, from there. So those are just some examples that, um, that I have how I use uh, file sharing. Uh, and folder sharing within uh, Google Drive. And remember, if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel for uh, some more uh, tutorials coming up. Thanks for watching.